What's going on? Dave Erickson here and with me, oh yes, a 2016 BMW 2 Series in mineral gray. This is BMW's replacement of the 1 Series Coupe and Convertible. Comes in two trim levels, 228i and M235i. Rear wheel drive is the default, but it is available in all wheel drive. Our tester today, M235i xDrive Coupe. Lots to talk about with this vehicle for 2016. I have a feeling when we're done, you'll be picking up the phone for a test drive. The 2016 2 Series grew all around with a wider track, 1.6 inches in the front, 1.7 in the rear, a longer wheelbase, 1.3 inches, and more than 2.5 inches in overall length, but lost a full 132 pounds, all while keeping true to BMW's near 50-50 weight distribution. Now under the hood of the 228i is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that kicks out 240 horsepower, 255 pound-feet of torque. It's been clocked going 0 to 60 between 5.3 and 5.4 seconds. The M235i steps it up to a 3-liter inline 6-cylinder that cranks out 320 horses, 330 pound-feet of torque. It's been clocked going 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. As far as fuel economy on the 228i, you're looking between 22 and 23 in the city and between 34 and 35 on the highway. This all depends on which engine you go with and whether it's a coupe, convertible, front wheel drive or all wheel drive. When it comes to the M235i, again, it depends on certain criteria, but you're looking at the low 20s in the city and upper 20s, low 30s on the highway. And all 2 Series models have an automatic start-stop function, which shuts off the engine when you're stopped to save on fuel. Automatic transmission cars also have a launch control feature. Now before I do my backseat legroom and headroom, I'm going to position myself as I would driving the car. Great adjustments down below. Up and down, forward and back. This is about where I'd go. Alright, let's get in the back. Lift the handle on the back of the seat, step inside. Now I'm 5'11", you saw my position up there. Now headroom is a little bit on the tight side. I'm sitting up and my hair is hitting the roof line. So first of all, headroom going to be tight. It is good for seating for four, but you better be six feet or under in the back two seats. Uh, leg room a little bit on the tight side, but there is a tad bit of room between my knees and the back of the seat. They do have an indent available, so if your knees are closer, you have space, a little extra space. There is some netting too for if you have a laptop, iPad, phone, magazine, that kind of thing. There is something here in the center of the seat between the two passengers. Let's say you have an iPhone there or a smartphone, keys, uh, change that you want to put right there. That's where that would go. Even climate controls in the back. So pretty simple when it comes to um, passenger space in the back. They do have a sliding sunroof here, so you have that option as well in this car. Uh, leather interior, this thing's decked out. It's nice, but of course, my opinion, I'd rather be in the driver's seat, wouldn't you? Now, there are three ways to open the trunk lid of the 2 Series. There's actually four ways to open the 4 Series trunk. There's a kick under the bumper that opens uh, the fourth way on the 4 Series. But with the 2 Series, uh, there are three ways. There's a push button just left of the steering wheel above where you pop the hood. There's one here on the key fob. Press and hold that. Otherwise, just left of the backup camera below the BMW icon, a little handle inside. Press it and open it up. Now, inside, you're looking at 13.8 cubic feet of volume for storage space. But you can increase that quite a bit by folding down the back row seats, which are a 60-40 split. You do that by pulling these handles, and then fold those down, increase it quite a bit. You are dealing with a coupe now, and that's why that cargo volume is a little bit smaller than some of your sedans. And just below the floorboard, you have your battery there, so no extra storage below the floorboard. 
Inside, the 2 Series employs an understated driver-centric control layout. Push button start. We have the BMW iDrive infotainment system. Base screen is six and a half inches. We have on the technology package in this car, 8.8 .8 inches. It almost looks like a split screen. You've got climate here on the right-hand side showing the temperature uh, and time here in Spokane. Left-hand side is the drive system, so I can use the dial down below to navigate between multimedia, radio, telephone, navigation, press the button to activate it, look at the map where I am, kind of shows everything where it is, even some spots where to fuel up, hit the back button, take a look at the connected drive system. There is even the vehicle information and settings all right there. Also, there's uh, four different drive modes based on your mood for the day. We've got Sport Plus. This is sports oriented settings. Traction control is active on this one. Toggle down to Sport. Changes the chassis settings. Comfort, obviously, for comfortable driving. And then Eco Pro for efficiency oriented settings. Plus, we've got paddle shifters. Some of the standard safety equipment on the 2 Series for 2016 includes four wheel anti lock disc brakes traction and stability control, hill start assist for manual transmission cars, front seat side airbags, front knee airbags, and of course, side curtain airbags are also standard. Optional safety equipment includes front and rear parking sensors, a rear view camera, a lane departure warning system, and a frontal collision warning and mitigation system with automatic braking. And just a few notable awards for the M235i. It was on car driver's 10 best list, it scored a 98 out of 100 on Consumer Reports and received the Cars.com 2016 Play Car of the Year. You can pick up a 2016 BMW 2 Series for under $40,000. Our tester here with the xDrive, cold weather package, driver assistance, and technology. This is loaded, 53600 It is definitely worth a look and absolutely do yourself a favor. Give it a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.